could change the position allowed during the feed. Uh, the most typical ones are, first of all, on your knees, kind of comfortable, fully inflated, that's why you want to be heavy. Nice and steady. It's very good on your knees. You don't like being on your knees, maybe you've got cramps or something like that, you know. Uh, each one is out, you can sit on your low quarters. Okay? It's pretty good. You don't like this, so you can lie down in front of your rod. This is nice and comfortable, okay? You're a bit low, uh, sharks could move a bit of sand on your face, but it's really, really comfortable. You stay down, you hold your rod, and you're good. If you really are brave and you want to look brave also in your video, you can try the famous Captain Morgan, okay? <laughs> this is really good, and it really looks cool. But, uh, you know, let me tell you, sharks are incredibly playful animals, and they love swim through. <laughs> no, no, they really do. <laughs> and gentlemen, remember, uh, those face are really hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you like it, well, I won't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our girls could be a nice ride, who knows? <laughs> so just find a nice and comfortable position, okay? And remember, the first thing you have to remember is, main rule is, no hand movements. Don't move your limbs. Keep your hands on your chest, on your belly, on your rock, wherever you know your position allows and is more comfortable for you. Sharks tend to associate during the feed, okay, hand movements and food because we feed them, which are opposed to it, with this kind of movement, okay? So for them, especially close range, where they really don't see much, actually they will close their eyes. You will see they will cover their eyes with a white corneus, translucent corneus membrane called the nictitating membrane that is uh, something that protects their eyes when they go for the prey, okay? And then they use just their sensors. Those little holes you will see all around the nose, the ampullae of Lorenzini, are their receptors, their main receptors. And they use them, and they can have almost a kind of tridimensional view with them. But they can't see. So your hand, or my spin, they could look a bit too much the same. Okay, so remember, no hand movement. Wanna clear your mask? Okay, easy. Um, you lose balance, no problem. Which is the first thing we normally do when we lose balance? Yeah. Not today. Today you will softly follow the set. We will come to you and pull you up. Okay? <laughs> Easy. Uh, in case a shark would... I've never seen this happen, but it's theoretically possible. Having a shark, okay, wrapping your sucker stage with, uh, with his thing. You know, they don't really want to do it, but you know, they swim around, they will be... Very close to you, okay? <laughs> and maybe, okay, please don't flap around trying to get it and nobody wait. Because in this way today you could, yes, recover your regulator, but not your fingers. So remember, you got the rocket tools, right? If you have uh, our gears, you know that you will find it right here, okay? On these little pockets. If you have your gears, you know where it is. Make sure you can get it without hand movements. You get it, you put it in your mouth. As soon as myself or one of our safety divers will actually realize that you're bringing to the yellow one, we will come to you and give you back your primary. Okay, very easy. You got a camera, you got a GoPro, phenomenal. Take pictures, take pictures. But your camera should be like that. Your GoPro on your chest, okay? If you have, I saw a couple around. If you have a, a pole spear or something yeah. like that, please no. Can get it here. Here is just phenomenal. Just perfect. please don't do anything like that because a pole spear looks exa exactly like my spear, and uh, they may go for it. Okay, so please on your chest. All right. No selfies. Don't try to step in front of your friends to take videos or pictures because uh, you know it's just a matter of uh, safety. You stay still and they don't bother. Simply. Sounds good. Um, it's very 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 easy. Okay. Of course, what happens? Um, remember that, oh, again, don't try to touch the sharks, please. I personally can't help myself, but what happens? The problem is that you, know, you try to touch a shark with your hand, okay? You won't harm the shark with your hand, you won't be touching the shark tail, for sure doesn't harm the shark. But apart that this is a kind of, uh, you know, interaction we try to discourage, uh, the main important thing is that, uh, what do you think? I'm there, and they do like that, and they know that this is food. They see you doing like that toward the shark. What the other five on your back will think? Food. Food. You want to move your hands? You want to touch a shark? No. Okay? Simply. Of course, he said, if for any reason you will find that you don't like being there, 
you felt not comfortable, or for any reason you're cold, you're tired, you're bored, whatever, okay? You want to leave, nobody's going to ask you why. I mean, if it's just because you are afraid of the sharks, you know? <laughs> Half of the sharks, no sharks, uh, yeah. and everything goes nice and smooth, okay? Yeah. But if you really want to leave, let us know. I want to go up, okay? Then slowly, slowly back up from the arena, 15, 20 feet. The boat is here. You can't miss the boat, right? And then swimming close to the bottom. Just go get to your bow. You do your three minutes of safety stop along the line. And you come back to the boat nice and easy, okay? You will never lose sight of the boat. If for any reason wind or current will change and the boat will not be inside, which is impossible, but if for any reason it will happen, and we will point to the boat, or maybe even one of your safety divers will take you till the moment you can see the boat. And then you can do your safety stop. If not, the feed will last around 25, 28 minutes, the feed itself. Time to get there, to set yourself. I'm gonna be the last one to come down, okay? And then play with the sharks. After the time, I take my box, I go in um, the reef system with the box, I take all the sharks with me because I will still have food, I keep feeding the sharks, so you have area nice, cleared and safe, look for teeth, whatever, when they tell you it's time for the three minutes, all together, you do your safety stop, get on board, and I come back just last, okay? Remember, it's very important to do it all together because, of course, when I am away, there are no safety times, something happens, nobody is there to help me. Okay, so overall you will do something like 45, 48, 50 minutes time. Okay, between feet going down, safety stop, of course. Remember, this is scuba diving, so of course, safety stop and all your things. All right, and uh, what happens? It happens that uh, Daniel, of course, uh, will keep uh, filming his video. Okay, we will do the <coughs> video. Uh, remember, his motion pictures. Okay, so his motion picture. So if you freeze, it will look a bit silly, and it will turn around the box. After him, Catherine will have her big strobe cover, okay? And uh, when she lifts the camera, it's because she sees a beautiful formation of sharks behind her. And in that moment, uh, if you want to have a nice picture, remember, try to slowly inhale, okay? In this way, 